morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks. Welcome back, everybody, to Loving It on Keto. You guys, we are doing February Spring into Weight Loss BBBE Challenge, and today is a regular BBBA. You can have a one keto chow and you can take a walk. I'm getting ready. I've got some bread cut here, some of our BBBE bread, because we are um, gonna go meet mom. She drove home and um, we're gonna go pick her up and we're taking her Joe's for brunch, Sunday brunch, because it's Sunday for us. And we're taking her over there. Hopefully, oops, this is a bit, these are too big for the sandwich bag. Um, we will be uh, <coughs> having breakfast with mom and we'll take you guys along with us. And this time I hope they get my um, order right. right because yeah. I want one of our pieces of bread. I want a six ounce black Angus beef patty with three eggs on top. And we're gonna put the bread underneath. So you guys, we'll be able to take you with us. If we can't film, we'll take pictures. And Harry, for some reason, forgot. The camera started yesterday for our dinner, and then it stopped, but I apologize for that. Anyway, you guys, we'll see you in Joe's Diner. We are in tight quarters, and we went to our favorite restaurant, and they were closed again today. So Harry and I ordered a la carte and brought bread and we forgot and started eating. So I'll tell you what we had. We ended up ordering three eggs, hamburger patty, we brought our bread, put it underneath. We had four pieces of bacon, four sausages, and three eggs on top of our bread and coffee. And mom is eating her senior fish cod. Yep. So anyway, you guys, just wanted to share what we were having because we had to go to several different restaurants to find one that was open that had uh, it was serving today because there is a lack of people wanting to work here in Phoenix, Arizona. And a lot of restaurants have to close down due to staffing and that's what happened at the restaurant we normally go to. Anyway, you guys, I've got to eat now. I've got to get my, my eggs and this sausage is really good. Sausage and bacon. Yes, indeed. Look what we're mailing out, you guys. We're mailing out Monday through Friday. Well, the Friday was the cutoff day because I had to get all these packed and everything else. And not everybody from the last two days has told us that they've won or not. Sally's right on cue. Anyway, you guys, we're going to the post office where we have it's a mailboxes, etc. UPS place where our post office box is. And they are open on Sundays. So we've got to get this in there and we've got to get these mailed. So you guys. Be on the lookout for them this next week. See you guys in a bit in the next segment. Hey everybody, welcome back. Harry and I were talking and we thought we would like something like tacos, BBB and E tacos or burritos. And I took out some 93%, 7% fat ground turkey and it's one pound and I thought, why don't we cook this up and use the spicy taco base for the seasoning? And I have been watching Indigo Nilly. She has made her um, egg white tortillas. So I have her recipe and I'm going to attempt to recreate Indigo Nilly's egg white tortillas to put our taco meats in. So you guys, let's get started. Let's get the meat part done first so it can be simmering. I got the turkey meat. I'm just gonna put that right into the pan. I'm not gonna season it with anything other than um, I really, really, really like the flavor and it gives you much more protein. The Keto Chow Spicy Taco Base Mix has powdered beef protein, powdered beef bone broth, acacia gum, salt. Then it has a whole bunch of vitamins, you guys. 
So if you look at the ingredients, don't be put off on them. They're all of these vitamins that you guys get, vitamins and minerals. You get one third your daily vitamins and minerals. So I'm gonna put this in. This is very lean meat. I've got some water in case it gets sticky and I need to add some water to this because there's not gonna be any fat in this. I think I'm gonna get some of uh, um, alternative fat to put in with this. I have Carnivore Crisps grass-fed beef butter, which is really pure beef tallow. And I'm gonna put in some for flavor. And it'll make this taste really good. Melt it off my spoon here. There it goes. Just to give it some extra flavor, turkey meat on its own to me does not have much flavor besides the fact that it's super lean. It was on sale at the market, so I got some. If you don't have taco, uh, spicy taco keto chow, you guys can get some good taco seasoning that's made without sugar. This does have three carbohydrates in it. It's got organic chili peppers, organic cumin, sea salt, organic onion, organic garlic, and organic oregano in it. But it's super clean, super delicious. Thank you, Melanie Hines, for sending me a packet of this. She's such a sweetheart. She's Princess Ninja and Keto, go give her some lovin'. I wanna get it um, browned before I add the keto chow to this. Get all the meat browned. Now I want to turn this on to 375 according to Indigo Nelly's instructions. So I'm going to preheat my non-stick my non-stick skillet for the egg wrap tortillas. So you guys, spicy taco base keto chow. Love it. It's great. And this is BBBE because it's made with beef powder and beef bro bone broth. So I'm just putting it in. I'm gonna add uh, a little bit of water in just a minute. If it needs it, the turkey had a lot of broth, so I may not even need to do that with this. It may just need... I think that looks pretty good. By the time it gets cooked up and stuff, it should be pretty good. You can use uh, ground pork, you can gr use ground chicken, you can ground uh, just ground round sirloin, you know, hamburger type of a deal. I'm gonna turn this down on low. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add just a little bit of the Chef's Blend Redmond. You guys, I put it in a salt shaker. It's the Chef Blend Redmond salt, just to give it a little bit more flavor. Yeah. Oh, smell that. Oh, yeah. How many of you guys got your Redmond smoked salt? We did, I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna put this on simmer, just on low. Just on low, and then I'm gonna cover it and just let it marry in with that keto chow. Get that flavor going on. Yeah, I need to cover it, Harry. What? Okay, I'm just gonna let that simmer. Now. Going. Okay, you guys, I've got my meat set to the side and covered. I am making the egg white tortillas by Indigo Nilly. Now, because of my space and the way the plug is, I've pre-measured everything, but let me explain to you. This is got to be 74 milliliters of water. Not too much. There we go. 74 milliliters of water, so I'm gonna move my water over. Now, 
I've got one tablespoon of beef gelatin powder or 10 grams. I prefer to do in gram weight, you guys. So I am going to just put this on top of the water. I'm going to move my scale because I've got everything measured and tartered out. So I'm going to move this so I have space to move in. So here's my water. I'm going to pour the gelatin over the top, sprinkle it so that it can bloom a little bit. Gelatin needs to bloom, which means it becomes um, kind of a gelatinous. The powder gets mixed in with the water. And um, I have right here egg white protein powder. This is the Now Sports brand. You need three tablespoons egg white powder or 15 grams. I measured this out. I am putting 15 grams into the bowl. I am, um, where's my mixer here? I am going to add just a little bit of salt. I like things salty. She did not add salt to this, but I'm just going to add a pinch of salt. Just a pinch. It says pinch pinch of salt into that. And now I need my whisk. Where did my whisk go? There it is. And you guys are supposed to whisk this together, blend it really good until it gets a little bit frothy, she said. So she said, don't be shy about getting this whisk in here. So just wanna work with it, work with the gelatin, get it creamy, get the lumps out. One thing she said is this is extremely sticky. stick to itiveness it'll stick to itself. And I've known with the egg whites working with it, yeah, it sticks to everything. Doesn't it, Harry? Oh, yeah. Can and stuff when I was trying I gotta to do- Because I got to clean it. Well, when I was trying to do the donuts, mm -hmm. the do if the donuts touch one another, mm. they're glued for life. So, she has a um, non-stick, griddle but she sprays it so I'm going to spray mine as well I have got organic extra olive virgin oil olive oil I'm just going to spray my griddle here and then she says to make two separate um it'll make two larger ones five to six inches across Make, be careful not to leave any thin spots. So let's put this on. Let's try to get half. And then she says to just start making a circle. I'm going to take the other and make another circle with that. And let it cook one to two minutes until the edges start coming away from the pan. And then we're going to flip them and cook them for one to two minutes on the other side as well. Don't be afraid to move this around your griddle, you guys. Don't be afraid. Kind of like a crepe kind of a thing. You want it thin but not too thin she said don't don't try not to make any thin spots I'm sure as you work it you get used to what you can and can't do and and you get used to the feel so we're gonna leave these set for a minute or two and let's see what happens you guys I'm excited to try these we're gonna have soft tacos yes indeed let me put this in the sink Checking on the meat, you guys, while my tortillas are cooking. Meat looks delicious, smells yummy. Smells absolutely delicious. Now they're starting to lift. This one's starting to lift a little bit from around the edges. Probably should have timed it just to kind of guess. Let me see. Well, 
Well, I probably am going to have to put some of this on there. Ooh! You got back in, huh? Yeah! Nice! So far, so good! Ooh, look at those, you guys! I'm excited! Now, I got mine a little bit more lumpy, and I know this is the first time I've ever done these, so I probably could get them a little bit thinner, but I'm excited, aren't you? Got a little plate here for everybody. Yeah, I want to try them out. I know, me too. Me too. One minute just to see. I'm sure it's been a minute. They're pretty much like like uh, tortillas, pancakes, mm -hmm. you know. I'm excited. This is really cool. I'm really excited to try these. These are very versatile because they're very neutral flavor. They're basically going to be a card, a, a holder to make your tacos in. And I'm sure we can do other things with them. We probably can deep fry these. Maybe we can fold them, um, do some things, add some other seasonings, maybe even a little taco seasoning in this. That'd be good. be good. Maybe a little bit of garlic, a little bit of onion powder. Okay, that was a minute, so. Let me see these on the other side. I don't know what I'm looking for. Looks pretty good to me. Yeah, it does to me too. Okay, one. Let's turn this off. Let's see this. Just to make sure. Okay, you guys. I'm going to move this broiler and we are going to come back and we're going to plate our soft tacos yes indeed okay you guys i've got my egg tortillas right here ready to go yes indeed i'm just gonna fill them full of this delicious ground turkey that i cooked with about a tablespoon of tallow and i put a one bag of spicy taco base in with the meat and it's just delicious i can smell it can't you Mm -hmm. Smell mm -hmm. it. Ooh, this so. is exciting. Now, you guys, on your regular keto days, you could add a little bit of lettuce. You could add a little bit more things to this. And, of course, regular keto days, we can add, we can add avocado, cheese. We can really dress these up. We can really dress these up. But today, they're a placeholder for our meat. Yes, they are. And there you have it. This is lean turkey with keto chow spicy taco soup base. And they're on the egg tortilla wraps that Indigo Nelly created, you guys. So next, we need to give this a taste test. Harry, do you want to be the first one to do the taste test? Or no, you, want you me go to? first. Okay, I'll have this one. I like them because, you guys, they're sturdy. Look how sturdy this is. Right? That's very nice. Very sturdy. It's holding a lot of meat. Yeah, it's not see. punching through. Very pliable. I like that. So here we go. Maybe I better get another plate. You better hang over. I better get another plate. Yeah. Because I'm a little messy. And I'm wearing my good Sunday clothes, too. You guys, I'm excited about this. I could see this just full of all kinds of deliciousness. Okay, we ready? Mark, get set, go. Mmm. Ooh. Does it work? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And look, 
It stays nice. It stays tight. That's if you made nice. a big one. Yeah. You know, you could use your whole griddle and spread it out the long way, put meat at one end and roll it up more like a burrito. That would work too, but this is really, really good. I'm on Harry to try it. This is his. I want you to come over and try yours. Okay. Okay, Harry, it's your turn. Now, first, the foldability. What do you think? Yeah, holds together well. Kind of feel it, feel it. Lift your plate up underneath that so we get up here. I can take it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it feel nice? Hmm. Yeah, I like it. I do too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It really is good. And look at that. It stays it's together. It's not tearing. Look. No, it's not tearing at all. I overfilled those really, really big. And this is this is pretty wet stuff too. It is. It is. It's wet, but yet it's it's holding inside. It's not softening the shell, so to speak, mm -hmm. to have it fall apart. Mm -hmm. We'll put that down. That's our dinner. Okay, one more bite. Ah, wow, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. Other than the meat falling out of it because it's coming out the back of them, they're still in really good shape. Yeah. They're not torn. They don't tear. Look at this. It's not tearing or anything, you guys. It's in really good shape. I really, really like it. Yeah, it works really well. I think it works really, really well. You know, I really, really do. I call this a win. I think egg white tortillas are delicious. I think they hold the meat and that uh, taco or the burrito that you're going to make. Great. Um, I just really like the flavor. I like it with a little bit of salt. You do have an egg, a little egg flavor. Not much. You do, though. but not much. It, and if you added seasoning, like some garlic and some onion and yeah, even some it. cumin, yeah. that would take away that flavor. But you guys... These are good. These are a keeper. Thank you so much, Indigo Nelly, for bringing this recipe to everyone. Anyway, you guys, come back in the next segment because it's going to be time for the giveaway. But first, ah, got to eat now, you guys. Such is life. Oops. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. These are good. I really like them. Okay, you guys, we finished eating our egg white tortilla turkey tacos. And you guys, they are extremely filling. You know, when you eat the egg white protein breads that are out there, you get very full very fast. The yeah. bread is full of protein and they fill you up. Same with these wraps. Usually, if you can eat two or three tacos, I would start with one and go from there because they are very filling. And you know what? They never tore. They didn't get soggy. You know, um, corn tortillas are horrible because they, they, I love the taste. They're my favorite, but they tear so easily. You really can't fill them. And then, unless you double them, and even then they tear. Um, flour tortillas soak and get soggy. They get very soggy with the ingredients. These egg white tortillas did not get soggy at all. They were uh, supple and nice. They had a good consistency. I liked it where it was a little bit crunchy on the outside edges. That really tasted really nice. And I liked that I added just a pinch of salt to it because I think it needs <clears throat> a little bit of flavor. Now, Next time I make it, I'm going to put a little garlic, I'm going to put a little onion, I'm going to make it Wendy's way, but I wanted to do this Indigo Nilly's way for the first time. And you guys, she did a great job. Please go down on the link below if you want to get her recipe. She has a link and you can print off the recipe just like I did today. Anyway, you guys, we are through today with the BBBE. We're going to cut that off, cross it off, and we are going to go to the 16-hour fast or eight hour eating window. It's a BBBE day and you can add one keto chow, move your body. So we are finished eating at five o'clock. So at 5 a.m. in the morning, it's gonna be 12 hours, right? Yep. And then you add, what day are we on again? 16. So you only add four hours into that and you guys get to eat. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Ten. Sally's bouncing off my legs. She's getting a little bit too serious about when we're supposed to close here. Let me tell you. Ch uh, Sally, Sally, should we just do that? No, no. I have to put you in another room. Because I have to be able to talk. All of us are very opinionated. And yes, for as far as we know, someone asked us, and several people have, is she a mixed chihuahua? We rescued her, and on her paperwork it says chihuahua. She was 13 months old when we rescued her. And as far as we know, she just has a little longer back, which is a breed uh, pet quality as opposed to non-showable uh, quality. They get a longer back. So as far as we know, she's a chihuahua, and she's very much opinionated like a chihuahua, too. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you guys, guess what time it is? Can you guess? Can you guess? We drew winners for the Keto Child giveaway today, you guys. I am so excited. Now, if you've been entering, but you've not watched every video since the giveaway, you need to go and watch the videos because you guys, we are not coming to you with comments because of the spammer we had. We put out a video with the spammer information, the warning, uh, the day that it happened. We uploaded that. So we're not coming to you with a comment telling you you've won. You need to watch every single video for this giveaway and see if you are a winner. If you are, please send us an email to lovingitonketo at gmail.com Send me your full name, your mailing address, and telephone number. We're, we're mailing at the end of each week all of that week's winners. So we just got through mailing um, last week's winners. And this week, starting Saturday through Friday, will be mailed on Saturday next week. So be on the lookout for those, you guys. And then once you've won, you're retired. You're a winner. But you can watch who else wins. So with that, I want to remind everybody, it's hashtag chow. In the comments below, there's two ways to win, to, for a chance to win. You can go to our Facebook group, Loving It on Keto with Wendy fans. If you're not a member, you can request to join. It's free to you. Leave a comment with a picture or whatever you want to talk about on the Facebook group, and we choose a lucky winner from there every single day during the contest. And you can come here to this video today, right now. Leave a comment. Don't wait. Leave a comment right now. Hashtag chow. And then leave a comment and tell us how your day is going, what you think about the new music that we're playing, all the good things. But don't forget, you need to be in the United States of America in order to play and win this giveaway because it's a food item. There are import, export laws, rules, regulations, depending on what country you live in, and it's cost prohibitive and rule prohibitive to send that to you. So we don't wanna get in trouble by an import, export, another company, or have it sent back and do all of the, the things. So this is for the United States of America only. So with that, we have some winners. Yes, we do. So today's Loving It on Keto with Wendy's Facebook pan winner is Rose Henley Fundell. Woo! And we chose two video winners. Donya Badia, B A D I A, Donya, woo! And the second winner for the video is Celiac Revelation, woo! Anyway, you guys, please remember do not leave your personal information in the comments. Send me an email at lovingitonketo at gmail.com and give us your name, your mailing address, and telephone number, and we'll get these out to you next week in the next batch of mailing. Anyway, you guys, I think we are done for the day. Man, I am really full, let me tell you, and very excited that we have something else that we can add to our menu, a wrap and a taco shell made out of egg whites, egg white tortillas. So anyway, you guys, please remember to like, Subscribe. Here comes Sally. She Ring knows. the little bell. Give us a thumbs up. I'll see you right here tomorrow. You gonna say goodnight?
say good night. Good night, everyone. Gonna sneeze? I don't think so. I do understand the food. You're getting pretty, pretty low on these things. Where are these? Oh, you're gonna stay kind of night, huh? Yeah, well, we're almost out. Okay, ready? Ready, Mark? Set, go!